Even though many of these new Lazy Mouse features were created for the hard surface and planar brushes you see here in the brush pop-up, I'd like to point out that most of these features work really well with a lot of the standard ZBrush brushes that you're used to. So take a moment to adjust each one of these items with things like the standard brush, clay tubes, and see what unique and interesting brush types you come up with. The first item I'm going to talk about here in the Lazy Mouse pull-down is Plane. Now, to activate any of these options down here, you're going to have to have Backtrack turned on. You can see if Backtrack's not turned on, all of these options, except for Trim Ends, is grayed out. So we'll click Backtrack. Of course, we have Lazy Mouse already checked. And then we have Plane checked. And the brush that I'm going to mainly use to demonstrate most of these features is the Planar Cut Deep brush. So with Plane selected and Planar Cut Deep Brush selected, I essentially can choose the plane that I want to cut across based on the angle of my cursor. So you can see as I move along this cube here, my cursor will change directions, kind of telling me the plane that I'm going to be cutting. So if I want to cut a 45 degree angle here, I can just position my cursor like so, and then click and cut. And you can see we have a nice plane cut in that angle. If I want to cut right here on the top of the cube, just bring my cursor there and then click and cut. And now I have a plane along that angle. And then we can repeat this as many times as we like. Just finding new angles with the cursor that you want to cut a plane on. Let's undo that. And now let's switch over to line. We're playing pretty much to determined our cut angle based on our, our cursor angle. Line will let us kind of interactively choose that cut angle that we're going to be working with or that plane that we're going to be cutting. So let's switch over to line. And this is where the name backtrack comes in. I'm going to click and you're going to see that I have two green lines here and then I can move back towards the origin and cut out that plane. Let me do that one more time. I'm going to click for my starting point and then as my cursor falls off the edge of the cube here you can see that I'm now choosing the angle at which I'm going to cut in the plane. This is kind of a 45 degree angle from the position where I, my cursor is right now. As I backtrack towards the origin you can see I start to cut that area out. So I'll start up here, move down off the edge of the cube, and then just cut from this angle. So you can see we can create very unique cut planes by using plane and line here in the backtrack settings.